really just depends on how the defense is playing us because we got guys who are kind of deep in there and playing. Um, you know, that, that first time time is a great fake to two blocks. So um, that always made sense to me and it's a big part of our offense. And so, yeah, it's definitely important whenever you, your job is to you know, sell the fake. You know, it's important to do your job because on other plays where maybe I get the ball, these guys are doing the same for me. How, how much are you, have you been looking forward to get back in the playoffs since it's been a while? Yeah, it's so exciting. This whole week, I've just been, um, you know, unbelievably excited to to be here. It's a blessing to be able to, you know, be practicing right now, and uh, obviously with a bunch of meaningful games, you know, one meaningful game for us, and uh, hopefully we'll go out there and win and continue on. Does the temperature change? What, what changes with the going from regular season to the playoffs? Just you know, with this team, it's a, it's always been the same mindset. You know, it's it's uh, full throttle all the time unless, you know, we're in a walkthrough. But even then, the urgency and the uh, attention to detail and the focus is always there. So, you know, for us, it's it's go out and, you know, appreciate every moment. I think everybody here has a sense of gratitude to be here and uh, knows what's at stake. Since you walked up the team's a little bit extra lively today, is this a playoff energy? I think guys are getting after it at practice today. I think they're still talking about it. <laughs> I think that's what it is. But yeah, everybody obviously is extremely excited. Remember, when you said, in some ways, being traded didn't sit well with you. I mean, this is an ancient history. Uh, but if you were not going to the pro bowl, it seemed to have still on people now. How did you take that? Uh, you know, I've always had a chip on my shoulder. Um, and I always will. Um, you know, couldn't vote for myself, otherwise I would have. Uh, but it is what it is, you know. It's, it's not the goal that we want, and uh, obviously it would have been a nice nod of respect. But I didn't get it, and it is what it is. And I just got to get harder. Christian, what makes Brock such a good leader in your mind to be doing what he's doing at this level on this team? Uh, he's, he's very genuine. He's himself, and I think that matters. You know, he doesn't do anything that's fake. Uh, he works his butt off every single day. He's in here early. He's gone late. And uh, he shows up and he does his job in practice. I think, too, um, you know, a sign of a, of a great competitor is how hard he is on himself. And so uh, I have the utmost respect for him. I also appreciate his swag. I mean, he comes with a level of really, he's out there playing the shows. Absolutely. No, he, he plays with juice. He plays with swagger. And you can see it. Um, and he plays confidently, yet he's calm. And I think that's... You know, he knows he's a rookie, but he also knows that he can play really good football in this league. And I think uh, it's exactly how you would want your, your rookie quarterback to act is how he acts. I wanted to say that this week, the game particular, the practice out there in the rain, in conditions that you might have on, on Saturday. Yeah, it was great. You know, we came with a, with a big focus, obviously. Probably going to be similar on Saturday to what it was like today. So, guys were locked in. And, yeah, the right equipment on there. Do you experiment with uh, Pete Wolf and, and things like that to see what? Um, maybe a little bit here and there with the gloves and rain gloves or, or not, but, uh, you know, we'll be comfortable by Saturday. What did you learn, Ken, about the rivalry with the Seahawks with this franchise after facing them last time? You know, they play hard. Um, you know, they play hard, they play well together, and uh, it's going to be a four-quarter game. That's what you expect. So uh, you're never out of a fight with these guys, and so... Um, you know, I think for us, it's every team we play is really good. It's the NFL, and, and they're no different. So it's always going to be about us, though, and execution and um, the way we go out and operate. Yep. Do you remember what you were thinking after that game? It would be a lot easier to get back and a lot more time. No, I, you know, I, I was grew up in this business, so I know how tough it is to get here, and I know uh, what it means to be here and what's at stake and, and you know, the urgency that's needed to win these kind of games, and so, um, you know, I was thankful we, we got to the playoffs that year, and obviously as a rookie, you know, everything is a little bit foggy, but uh, when we lost that game, obviously it was extremely disappointing, uh, and I haven't been back since, so it's going to be here. Just inside the red zone, you were split left and ran like kind of a double, short, it was a short route, like a double move, like about seven yards. I remember it was yep. split. Do you, I mean, like a little sunshine, but you look like a wide receiver, which, you know, Thanks. whatever you're trying to do. That's the goal. Yeah, exactly. When you're out there. Does your dad ever give you critiques and like, yes, you do look like a wide receiver? 
uh, no, that that's not a critique. He has given me critiques, <laughs> yes, uh, my whole life. Um, no, but I think growing up with not just my dad, but my older brother being receivers too, I always wanted to be you know, the most complete back that I could. And part of that was being able to line up in those positions and run routes. And uh, I had, in my opinion, the best teacher right in my house. You know, my dad was a technician when it comes to route running. And so you know, ever since I can remember, um, you know, I've heard a lot of details when it comes to route running and how many steps you're taking and when you're taking them and the correct depths and the correct timing. So it's kind of been flooded in my brain since I can remember. Have you ever actually been a wide receiver you've just always been strictly a running back? Always a running back, yeah. Is, is that what you're going to say to the most about the guys? Is, is, is the uh, precision? Um, the, 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 this has got to get weird. I think uh, when I go watch watch his highlights, and I've watched him once, and he's still watching him going out, it's really his toughness. Uh, you know, he was going in there blocking DNs, he's blocking linebackers. Uh, he did everything that they asked him to do. And, um, you know, he's a, obviously, you know, 6'5", and 220, and ran 4'3", and was extremely athletic, but, you know, I thought when you, when you hear people talk about him, when you hear, you know, the things that his old coaches have to say about him and his old teammates, I think as a son, that's what makes me, you know, happy. That, it, you know, it was pretty cool to know that he did not just the catches and the big plays down the field, but... Uh, he was a great football player all the time. I think he was 210, at least during his combine uh, in 91, which is about what, what you are, right? Uh, I'm like uh, probably 207, 208. Yeah. Hey, Sam. A little smaller. Yeah, he played, I think, Sam, his best did, years. He was 218 to 222. Did you say he ran 48? Yeah, on a, at a Chargers workout, I believe it was. <laughs> That's that's the one that he claims. You know? <laughs> so, his his yeah. official was uh, four six seven. Yeah, combine, but you know, yeah. what are you gonna do? Hey, I'm right. telling you, bro. Thank you. Thanks, Thanks guys.